Today on Startup Chuck, I have got some solar panels in for my garage edition I've been building. And one of them came in shattered. It was the one right on top of the stack. And it looked like they stacked something on top of it or dropped something on top of it. Maybe it was another pallet. I don't know. Either way, it completely shattered the solar panel, uh, spidered out into a million pieces. And so, I have a perfect time to test whether or not a shattered panel works just as well as a non-shattered one. And so let's get to it. Let's see what happens. So I've been taking the solar panels off of the roof and because I'm going to be putting new solar panels on once the whole roof is expanded out for the new garage. And while I was doing that, I decided what a perfect time to test out one of the solar panels that I had got that was shattered when it got shipped here. So normally I would just be like, okay, it's not gonna work, right? Or it'd be too inefficient. So here I have a perfect example of being able to do a great test where I've got new solar panels, shattered solar panels, and we can see just how much less efficient it is. I already tested the voltage on it and it was making about 35 volts when I was checking it earlier. So should be pretty easy to just leave it up for an hour or two and see how it compares to the other ones. Who knows, maybe it'll be worth it to uh, fill in these cracks and shoot the whole thing with some polyurethane and then maybe it'd be good for an RV or something where it's easy to get down and replace if you had to. So one thing I wanted to show you guys is just how shattered this panel is. You can see all the fracture marks here. It's almost like a baseball hit it, but I'm pretty sure they just put boxes on it when it was inside of the freight truck. It's tempered, so it just spidered out everywhere. And if you compare that to a new panel, big difference, right? All right, so I pulled up my micro inverters in my AP Systems app, and I was able to see that the good panel is making about 290 watts, and the bad one was making about 107. So. Not quite what I was hoping for. So with that much loss, probably there was a real damage to the chips as per that dent. So I needed to go take the panel, bring it in, and try and expose it to actually see whether or not there was punctures through the wafers. But I learned it was so gummy and difficult to actually try and get any of it out that it wasn't even worth trying. After testing, basically, it looked like it was reduced down by about two thirds. So all the rest of the panel are putting out, you know, almost 300 watts. This one was doing 107. And so definitely it got damaged when it was punched all the way through. Well, oh well. I bet you if it hadn't gotten punched all the way through, if it was just shattered, it'd probably be a lot better. But either way, I'm glad I tested it out. Now I don't have to feel like I'm throwing away something that is of value or can be used somewhere or upcycled. And so either way, well worth it. All right. Hope you liked that video. Please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll have another cool video next time. Thanks. Jesus, fractured. I know, right?